our motto with ShotLink is that every shot counts. And every time that there is a, a laser shot, every time that the, a walking score you know, presses the, the shot hit on their symbol device. That information comes back to us. We have hundreds of thousands of messages that we have to go through and sort through. So we're talking about hundreds of thousands of pieces of information. Over. Roger that, I'll need a minute on satellite visual, over. Okay, satellite imagery coming through. Roger that, patch visual my location. Confirm visual, thank you much. Everyone here. It's uh, critical that those volunteers are you're on their toes. They have to be uh, paying attention, they have to make sure they're not missing any shots as well. Okay, hon, uh, I got a shot coming up here. Uh, you, you said what? Pick up ice cream on the way home? Oh, there's the ball. Hold on, let me take a shot here. Um, Okay, Rich, that says, uh, no, 636 yards. Well, you bumped it. Six Fairway, did you say 636? 636? When you get to things like the Greenside Towers, there's a lot of action. It's boom, 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 very quick. Incoming, 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. And these guys do a great job for us. We don't miss any of those shots whatsoever, and that's all thanks to the volunteers. Shotlink is the PGA Tour's data collection system. We collect every shot for every player in real time. Shotlink, I like to refer to it as our electronic application to our sport. You know, NFL has the first down strike, and I look at Shotlink the same way. We're out there real time capturing data from every golf shot. It's fast paced, just technology. Actually, you know, it is the scoring system of golf. With each group, we've got a walking score who's actively keeping track of the score. Each stroke, they put in the information where that stroke came from. So that basically gives us a record of what is happening real time on the course. The other side of that is at each fairway and each green, we've got laser operators that are basically tracking the location of each shot. We have small lasers that we put about 300 yards down the fairway to capture the, the drive. And basically when the ball hits the ground, a volunteer then uses the laser to shoot that ball. And then once we have that coordinate of that shot, then we can measure the distance it traveled from the tee and the distance it now has to reach the pin. At the green side, we have a, another more complicated laser up in a tower. It has to sit up higher because it has to record every putt, every chip, everything that goes on out there. When that shot is hit or that score is transmitted, not only does it go on site to the local media, local television broadcast, uh, the internet, other downstream clients, international television, about 130 countries around the world, and it's instantaneous. There's so much information out there, I think, now. Right rough tendency, left rough tendency, third round scoring average, fourth round scoring average. Now we have over 500 different statistics. Average distances from 30 yard to 60 yard shots. Six foot putt, is he supposed to make that? We never had information like this. If he missed it, was that something he should have made? It gets down to the inch sometimes, which is a little crazy, but uh, hey, you gotta get that inch or you won't go in the hole. Well, what ShotLink has done, essentially, is revolutionize the way we as media cover golf. At the click of a button, it's live, it's real time, there's no delay, and it's incredibly accurate. I go to the thing 100 times a day, easily, because there's just so many little things that you need to know even right in one story and you're definitely gonna find them there. You can look and see what every player is doing, where they are. Nearly all the Australian players, I know they, their families are following live scoring on the internet and it's allowed them to keep up with it um, every step of the way. You can come up with some amazing stats that make a lot of sense. Something that you certainly couldn't do just messing around with a 
pen and paper. You can use ShotLink to help build the excitement, the drama of a golf tournament. Ready, Am? Take Am. He hasn't missed this size putt this week. Bill Wakeley. Right, with that arm yeah, shot. Four straight birdies. Four straight birdies. Ready, Anna Kosey? That is precision stuff. You can also tell a story about why this certain player is having difficulty because he, he can't get a ball in the fairway because shot link proves that fact. If somebody makes a nine or a 10, you can sort of go back and get the gruesome details right there and, and you know exactly how it happened. Because you can follow on the map. That's really a great resource to get information that you couldn't get from the player or the caddy for whatever reason. They weren't available to talk or like I said, he's busy throwing his clubs in the river. We've heard players say, I didn't realize that my putting percentage was this from that distance. They oftentimes uncover things they didn't really think that they needed to work on. The stats don't lie. And a guy might think he's a good long putter, and the stats might say, no, you're not. I mean, that's the fun part. You, you throw some stats at these guys, and they go, what? I'm ranked what? We'll be walking down a hole, and they're showing our stats right there. And I'm like, geez, I didn't know that. It's all there for you. If you're a lawyer making a case, here's your evidence. Volunteers are crucial to our system. Any tournament, on average, has about 1,200 volunteers. Uh, so volunteers are, are probably, no doubt, the most important piece to our, our tournament models. Uh, the tour couldn't work without volunteers, and the people that do it are committed to it, they're passionate about it, and I would say they're connoisseurs. It takes about 350 volunteers to collect the data that's used in ShotLink. Without the volunteers, there's no way we could get this done. Some of them you know, plan their vacations around coming to certain golf tournaments just so that they can volunteer. Without the volunteers, there is no shot link. Mistakes are made and we understand that. It's just, we ask you to do the best that you can, but we want them to have fun out there and they do actually get some of the best seats in the house. You know, our walking scorers following along with the group as they play and our laser operators are up in the tower or on the side of the fairway inside the ropes as groups go through. So they have a unique perspective on every shot. I was here at Harbor Town the first time we used ShotLink. We used it on, I believe, three greens to experiment that first year. We were all really afraid of this machine. Still scary when they start hitting it in the water. I'm gonna make sure you get it right. Make sure that we hit it when they strike the ball so that people can measure the yardage and then we have to put in here where they're hitting from, whether they're hitting from the tee or they're hitting from fairway or in the rough. So they know where each shot comes from. It's fun, I like walking with the players and watching them. Kind of neat to see some of them hit so well. We try to show them that it's easy and show them that they have a really great spot and they do mean a lot to us and we did that we couldn't do it without them. We used to be on a paper trail where our walking scorer would write their information down on a piece of paper, hand it to somebody at the green, and what would take normally about 15, 20 minutes to get a score up on the scoreboard, now it takes us a matter of seconds. 